here today having a look at Garden Pond to do a little bit of pond dipping and see what we can find. So it's January, actually it's February, it's just turned February, so you might think that we won't find very much at all, but you would probably be surprised. So this pond is very small, but it has got a lot of oxygenators in it, so some really nice floating plants in there, like the hornwort that you can see over there, that will be providing oxygen and providing a really good habitat for a whole range of creatures. We've got a nice little log pile over on the edge there, a nice bit of access um, around the edge with pebbles and a nice shallow area over there. It could probably do with a few more plants around the outside, but it is actually providing quite a nice habitat as you'll see. So we've done a little bit of dipping and we found quite a few things. We've managed to find dragonfly larvae in here. We've managed to find lots and lots of damselfly larvae and we've managed to find some freshwater hog lice just in a few minutes actually so the dragonfly and damselfly larvae are great to find they will be living in the pond for up to a couple of years as larvae and then what they'll do is climb up a plant stem that's on the edge of the pond and they'll shed their skin and turn into the beautiful adults that we see flying in the summer months. And I think we've got quite a variety of damselfly larvae in here. So what we'll do is take a closer look so you can see actually what they look like. So here is a little tray of creatures that I've just managed to get out of the pond. In fact, very, very easily. It's really, really nice to see how much is actually in there. So if we zoom in a little bit here, you can see we've got these two lovely damselfly larvae in the middle moving slowly along. You can see they've got six legs and they've got those, oh, there's another one, just join them. They've got those three tails which look sort of quite leaf-like rather than just thin sort of filaments. They're much more leaf-like. Now next to those two damselfly larvae, you can see there's also a dragonfly larva, which is really nice to see as well. So these creatures will live in the water for up to two years as a larva, and then they will need to find a plant stem growing on the edge of the pond in which to climb up and shed their skin and turn into the adult, which we see flying in the summer. So we've got dragonfly larvae, damselfly, lots and lots of damselfly larvae and over here in the corner we also have got some freshwater hog lice. There's one looking to be having a bit of a tussle with the dragonfly, no the damselfly larva in the corner there. Quite a big freshwater hog louse moving along. So really nice variety here in a very small garden pond.